he is 14 on Sunday and it started when he was maybe five or six wanting the Guinness Book of Records book and it is generally released um, around now for the new year so he's always had it for his birthday and he's, he's quite obsessed at looking at things so it would be amazing if we could get it and he would probably be really embarrassed that, that I've mentioned him it's just his fascination with it that then made me think we, we could actually become part of that book and and be in the next one that he reads we do all, every type of gin so we've got standard gins like london dries um we've got flavored gins like gin liqueurs which are lower abvs but still technically have gin in them um we have actual gins that are flavored so rhubarb gins and chili gins um old tom gin uh, Holland gins or Geneva or Geneva or however you want to pronounce it. Um, yeah, just full range of everything we could potentially get our hands on. We approach every distillery we can find, and we're not getting a lot of distilleries actually approaching us. I think there's a massive demand for gin um, from the shop alone. I mean, that kind of proves that um, you know the shop survives well, and we've made our own range of gin as well um, to sort of jump on board with what's going on. And you know, we we on a on a a Monday, for example, which is a pretty quiet day of the week, we can have you know a very very good day. Um, yeah, I say, I say it was the same every day. It's just obviously the weekends are the busiest, but there's there's chin covers of flavour for everybody. With with all the chains moving into York because all the independents are closing down, um, it's getting more and more difficult in a sense of rent reviews and chains can afford pay out more in rent um, and it is getting tougher but we're still here and we still plan to be here in, in years to come. With chains popping up around the city I think it's just made it, it's made us potentially stand out more um, because we are still here, um, we're not going anywhere as far as I'm aware. Um, I mean the, the shop if anything selling, changing to selling gin has just helped us put a firmer stamp on you know the fact we're here and we're not we're not going anywhere and as much as chains are popular um, I don't think the, the quality can be the same because you know they stick to a certain formula that they put across the board whereas we're free to do kind of what we want and be our be, stand out as, on our own as, as something that sells a high quality product.